Okay, let's have some fun. We're going to build this. And all with one little segment node. There are countless of ways to make something pretty, but I decided to go for this. There's no reason, and the little patch we make can be modified in a million ways. So, let's begin. Let me move this aside first. Well, we begin with a segment, EX9, and a renderer, EX9. For the renderer, I press Alt 2 to make it fit inside my window because I'm recording this. But you can just drag this over anywhere you want on your desktop or you can even drag it all the way to your second screen if you got one attached. Or you press Alt Enter and make it go full screen. And press Alt Enter again to go out of full screen. So for now I just press Alt 2 and I connect my segment and this is the basics of our patch. Let's make this a bit bigger move this up a bit what I made in this demonstration was a bunch of half circles with an inner radius so they look like an arch and then I just rotated it in a cool way with a bit of offset I personally always like soft shapes so let's set the resolution a bit higher I go for 64 and now we have this nice round shape I'm also going to put the cycles at 0.5 so we have a nice half circle Next, I'm changing the inner radius, so we end up with an arch. I think 0.8 will do for now. Well, this is the basic of our whole animation. Later we're going to color this, but for now let's make the next node. A transform 2D. Be sure to connect it with the proper pin, and with the transform 2D we're going to make some magic happen. I want to scale this thing. So it fills up the entire screen. And I also want to make a lot of them. So we're going to make a spread for the scale. A linear spread. The maximum width I need is 2. And the smallest width is, well, 0. So I set the input to 1. And the width I set to 2. If I now increase the spread count, I create a spread that goes from 0 to 2. Well, I will not get 0 and 2 because the distribution is set to centered, or the alignment. A block will give me 0 and 2, and everything in between. But then my face pin doesn't work anymore. So we leave the alignment at centered. Okay, let's set the spread count to 100. Since I'm working with a circle, the X and I scale are the same. So I can connect the spread to scale X and scale i okay next we rotate this in a nice way if i just change the rotate pin on the transform the entire shape gets rotated but i want to rotate the individual arches so we're going to make a spread for that one too and the circular spread will do the trick the default settings are okay i only want to change the spread count the spread count has to be the same as the linear spread for this to work so to make our lives a little bit easier, I'm going to make an I.O. box value advanced and connect it both to the spread count of linear spread and to the spread count of the circular spread. And we put this back to 100. Okay, now connect the X pin of the circular spread to the rotate pin of the transform. And now we have a pretty interesting shape. If I drag the face pin over here, I right click drag up or down we can see a bit of animation. Let's automate this movement. I make an LFO and I connect it to the face pin. Well, it moves like crazy. So let's change the period to something higher so it moves a bit slower. I think 10 seconds will look nice. And yes, it does. Oh, and for sake of my video recording, I'm going to pause this. I double right click choose toggle and connect the I output value to the pause pin of the LFO and if I now right click in this toggle my LFO is paused and so is my animation other nice stuff we can do is change the center X and the center I pins so the rotation is not around the middle anymore I am using minus 0.1 and plus 0.15 but hey it's all up to you this might be a decent time to save your work. I'll press middle mouse button and pick save. Give it a name. 
uh, let's call it wicked segment number two and hit the enter key reload now and let's continue with our tutorial okay time for some color first we pick a color node i go for the hsv one or UV saturation value because i want to make a nice spread to black and let's connect this to the color pen of the segment give it a bit of saturation and we got our colored weird shape the spread i need has to have the same slice count as the resolution not as the amount of transforms so once again i make my favorite circular spread going from black to a color so my input x is 0.5 and my width is 1 i'm going to connect output x to value and increase the spread count to 64 okay let's animate this one too so we make an lfo lfo animation we connect it to the face pin i give it a period of i don't know three and I also connect my pause button, by the way. I got another idea to make this look cool. Let's lower the alpha value a bit. So my segments come a bit transparent. And then we make a new node. The node is going to be blend render state. The render state advanced is a bit like this one, but a bit more advanced, hence the name. Okay, I connect it to the segment render state pin the blend mode works just like in photoshop you can set a different blending mode default one is blend but when you put it to add it looks a bit more vivid now let me make the alpha even lower 0.4 will do perhaps i lower the saturation a bit to get a nice color burn okay i changed the uv color so we get a nice pink color this looks nice Let's unpause this and let's see what we made. Well, here you got your basic shape. And the cool thing is in VVV you can play around with any of the settings. Let me pause this again. In the one I showed you, change the vector pin of the rotation to 0.48 just means that the spread is closer to each other and you get this well you can just start playing around with values speed try different spreads spread generators spread counts and just see what happens perhaps change the inner radius to something else perhaps connect an other circular spread to the center x and center i pins and see what happens that can be pretty cool well, the bottom line is just have some fun and don't forget to save your work often. Well, be careful with high spread counts or you might end up with some weird looking triangles and other errors. My video card goes crazy if I set this value to 800, but perhaps yours is more modern and you can handle it. Well, I had fun. I hope you had too. Next, let's make something with the rope node. Oh, and by the way, you can download this patch under the section documentation and then browse to video tutorials and then just look for this tutorial okay see you next time